Hey everyone, it's your buddy Crypto Profit back with another video. And today we're going to be jumping into Chainlink Link. And this is going to be one of my favorite coins that we always talk about on this channel. So if you guys have not already and want to learn a lot about Chainlink, make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn notifications on before we get too far into it. Because there's a lot to talk about today, whether it's Chainlink integrations, partnerships. We also want to talk about some old things that uh, not a lot of people talk about, some very big successes, hopefully coming up with staking to Chainlink, going to be a huge, huge ordeal when that takes place. So much to really, like I said, jump around with today. We do see the $10.2 billion market cap and uh, continuing to see, you can see that increased volume in the last 24 hours up to $1.7 billion, up about 29 to 30%. We also see this trading activity right now being 66% buy, 34% sell. Definitely at, in my opinion, a very, very undervalued $22.62 mark. We also see the all-time high right around 52.83. If we take a look at the last week, we can see about a 24 to 25% decrease in the last month being that 20 to 21% decrease. $22, $23 chain link is always going to be a great spot to buy in my opinion. I think that there's going to be so many great opportunities to buy some of these coins with dips that you know, we always see crypto, you know, markets dip. And that's something that uh, a lot of people don't really know how to accumulate in. You always want a dollar cost average in during these red market dips if you have money that you are looking to invest with. And, uh, you know, never invest all of it at once because there may be, you know, farther dips, farther dips and farther dips. We saw that earlier in the year. We saw Chainlink actually dipped down to $13.74 July 20th, but there's t tons of dips. Uh, so if you buy, you know, everything on this first dip down to $37. So you wouldn't have got the next dip to 26. You wouldn't have got the next dip to 19. And you wouldn't have got the next dip down to, you know, 18. You wouldn't have got the next dip down to 13. So it's all about making sure to not go all in on every single dip. You're going to want a dollar cost average in on dips and take advantage of those dips, but not every single dip are you going to want to put all of your money in, obviously. So I do want to talk a little bit more about Chainlink specifically. So let's jump into the first tweet. Here we can actually see uh, that Venray HQ or Venray HQ has launched its own official Chainlink node to make refined OFAC data available across leading blockchains, providing a plug and play option for DeFi protocols wanting to add compliance and onboard new users like uh, really enterprises. And I want to talk a little bit more about some of these partnerships. And we also have, like I said, some big things to kind of talk about that, uh, you know, have happened in the past and may happen in the future. But before we do so, guys, there is something I want to kind of bring up real quick, and that's going to be the integral link. So here we can actually see, I'm going to have the links, by the way, down in the description, but integral is trying to achieve specific things here. The ITGR token and token listing, uh, you know, it's going to be listing on major CEX as soon. Integral is basically like Binance and Coin base but on chain also it's the best price for on-chain crypto trades so integral gets best price for on-chain trades 97 percent of the time the best price on one million dollar trade versus finance you can see the world's first DeFi primitive for large orders so this is going to be for those people those whales that you all speak of that are going to continue to be in this market and continue to be massively introduced to this market uh retail as well as institutional investors certain retail investors mostly institutional investors are going to take advantage of integral because of what it kind of does for them and i'm kind of just briefly going to cover some of the time or time offering the best price on a 1 million trade. And you can see that here. So ETH and Link, obviously, you know, going to be on the top of the list here. We also have ETH WBTC. We have DAI USDC and USDC ETH. So just a lot of possibilities here. You can see the Unify Global Liquidity, Robinhood, Wealthfront, Alipay, Binance, Uniswap, Polygon, all coming together, obviously, to make Integral. Integral is, you know, basically taking every really good feature of these and putting it into one uh, really kind of exchange. And that's the biggest thing I kind of wanted to focus on is the team and experience as well. So if you guys don't know, some of the OG crypto advisors, supporters, um, they're just big, big names. I'm not going to go through all of them right now because this is just a integration into the, the, today's video. I want to talk more about Chainlink, but I do suggest you guys taking a look at Integral. It's kind of a very, very unique exchange that a lot of a lot of people don't really realize how good this could be, like I said, with institutional investors jumping on board. I do want to, like I said, leave a link down in the description so you guys can check it out, but I have more to talk about regarding Chainlink, so let's head on back over. We see the Launchpad platform Q protocol is integrating Chainlink price feeds and Chainlink VRF to access high-quality price data in probably fair source of randomness needed to run various chance-based games and facilitate NFT exchanges in its marketplace. But there's a lot more regarding Chainlink and partnerships. We also see Crypto Kings, uh, or Crypto Vikings, I should say, is using Chainlink VRF to generate verifiably random numbers when minting its hand-drawn Viking NFTs on Polygon. 
And if we continue forward, we have Peaches Finance. So Peaches Finance is actually using Chainlink price feeds on Ethereum to access the high quality price data it needs to track the value of real world assets, enabling the accurate and secure calculation of uh, really kind of collateralization during minting and liquidations. But the biggest thing I want to take a look into today is going to be the 35 plus blockchain RNG use cases enabled by Chainlink VRF. This is absolutely huge. So there's so many different uh, you know, blockchain use cases when it comes to Chainlink. And you can actually see how many different VRF requests across BSC, Ethereum, and Polygon there have been just recently. It's getting out of control um, in a good way, in a very, very good way. Chainlink's being utilized everywhere across this ecosystem. And I want to talk a little bit more about some of the big things that have happened that not a lot of people talk about anymore. Chainlink node on AWS, right? So this quick start was developed by Chainlink Labs in collaboration with AWS. Chainlink Labs is an AWS partner. This is a big thing to kind of know. A lot of people don't even know this. Chainlink has so many great, huge, huge, big partners that could continue to build off each other and make big things happen in the future. Obviously, staking to Chainlink as well, something that hasn't happened yet that I suggest will be a huge, huge price push uh, on Chainlink altogether when it comes to the value of Chainlink. Obviously, like I said, very undervalued at this current point of uh, $22.62. Just crazy to me that, uh, you know, we are still down to this $22.50 range. I think, you know, as we push forward at the end of this year, we are going to see Chainlink do very, very well. I'm still suggesting anywhere between $120 and $80. I guess I should have started on the low, but by the end of the year, like I said, 80 to $120. I think by the end of the bull market part two, we could be shooting much, much higher, depending on obviously how big this bull market does actually get and uh, how long it lasts is going to be a big one as well. A big determining factor on where we could see Chainlink push by the end of the bull, bull market. If we take a look at the last year, you can see that we've had you know a nice push up to 52.99, and you can see the all-time high was actually 52.83. So uh, this was actually a push to about 52.83 on Coinbase, and you know it's great to see it come all the way down to 13 dollars, have a nice push back up to about 34, 35, back down to 22, so more accumulation can take place before this next leg up. We are excited for this next leg up. I think it's going to be a big one. We're going to see about 200 dollars as a price target for Chainlink by the end of the bull market in the next year. So hopefully 2022 serves us well. Uh, I think this bull market is going to be a big one. I think a lot of people are going to wish they accumulated at these low levels and we'll take you guys all the way through it. So if you guys have not already, make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel and turn notifications on. And if some way, by some chance, we actually are able to hit $40 before October 1st on Chainlink, I will give someone who retweets 40 Chainlink. So all you have to do is follow so I can DM you if you win and retweet this tweet. I will say, guys, it's not looking great, great right now, but it's definitely still a possibility. We've seen crazier things happen. So if this does not get given away this month, I will try again next month to give this 40 chain link away. Um, we'll probably just do the same challenge of if it hits $40 before, before I guess, November 1st, uh, I will give that you know, a way to somebody that retweets and obviously is following me on Twitter. So thank you guys again for tuning in. If you have not already, by the way, check the, the uh, Patreon out in the description below. We have a Patreon down there. That Patreon is going to give you exclusive market updates, free sales, IDOs, ICOs, and uh, just give you, like I said, really that deep in look into uh, crypto. You know, a lot of people getting this kind of uh, look into some of these altcoins, some of these higher market cap altcoins. But if you want to make, obviously, that 10 to 100x, it's going to be in those low market cap altcoins that are going to push you there. So thank you again for tuning in. I'll see you guys all in the next one.